Hey everybody. So, um, this may be the last flat earth chicken video because uh, I'm getting rid of the chickens. <clears throat> um, gonna take the winter off. I've been uh, taking care of chickens now for like 25 years. Had a couple years where I didn't have them after the cabin burned, but, um, I. You know, when I start driving and everything and th on Thanksgiving, around Thanksgiving, I start driving my winter bus route. Um, I'm taking a road trip shortly for a few weeks. And um, I'm kind of rearranging my life. I'm kind of negotiating for a couple acres of land to buy. So my plan is to be moving out of here in the spring. So uh, I'm getting rid of the chickens. I got a guy coming over tonight. It's going to take like 15 of them. <clears throat> And then uh, I've got a few, got an ad out in the paper and a couple signs up at the grain stores. So uh, the other ones shouldn't be around for too much longer. So I figured I'd uh, get a little footage of them. I'm going to be kind of sad for a while. You know, the empty nest syndrome, if you'll pardon the expression. Um, it's nice to have something to take care of. It's, you know, I made a few bucks off the eggs. Production's, you know, starting to go down now because it's fall, and um, unless you keep a light on for them all winter, they, they kind of slow down. I don't have a light on them now, <clears throat> so I'm down about 20 eggs a day, and uh, I just, I want to get my life organized. I got a big mess to clean up down here, and, um, you know, it's one thing in the summer. Once the snow flies, it starts to be a big chore to uh, haul water down, and... So anyway, I'm getting rid of the chickens, and probably, you know, we'll see how it goes if I get my land in the spring. I'm trying to get like two to three acres right next door here, up there, uh, on the other side of where my trailer is. So there's a lot of nice timber on the land. I mean, not really nice, valuable logs, but there's a lot of nice straight stuff that uh, could be turned into a log cabin or at least milled into rough cut lumber so uh, we're working I'm working it out here with the landlord to where I'm gonna get a couple couple acres up there so that's kind of exciting but uh, we got a few hoops we got to jump through first <clears throat> but uh, hopefully you know before too long I'll have another flock of flat earth chickens so anyway here's a little footage of them I just dumped a bunch of food out for them and uh, I was showing you the the mother there. We're down to two little chicks out of the four that hatched. But, you know, that's that's pretty much standard. Usually I'm lucky if any of them survive, so... Um, somebody's going to end up with a couple little cute flat-earth babies. And, uh... Fox got number one rooster, so he's gone. I think this might be my only rooster right now. So, anyway, now there's there's the other one right there. Yeah, the fox hammered me pretty good this summer, too, so... Uh, I'm just assuming get rid of them now while I still have some. <laughs> so, that's about it, guys. I hope you're all doing good. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to start... Continue to make many videos. As you noticed, I haven't been making many anyway. All the stuff that I think about and talk about, every there's other people that do it. Uh, my little thing was was focusing on the flat earth chickens, and since they're not going to be around, I don't know if there's much point in making videos here. You know, maybe start taking walks up the hill with Zora. And of course, uh, you know, whenever I'm over at Audrey's, we can always turn the camera on. And uh, maybe get back into some live streaming over there with Audrey and Helen. And maybe some fishing stuff. But, this may be the last flat earth chicken video. We'll see how how long it takes to get rid of the remaining ones after I get rid of the, the first batch tonight. So, that's about all. So, uh, that's it. Hope you're all doing well. Say goodbye to the flat earth chicks. And, uh, you know, maybe next year we'll see how everything goes. 
I'll probably start off with another little flock of little baby chicks. We'll see. There's my one-legged one there. I don't know if I've ever showed you guys her. She's actually got two legs, but only one foot. She gets around fine. She didn't get eaten by the fox. Like a lot of the ones with two feet did. So, just dumped a bunch of food out for them. Gotta tell all my food suppliers that I don't need it anymore. So, anyway. Hello to everybody, and there's the little babies. Yeah, I'm gonna miss them. It's nice to have something to do, have responsibility. It's always fun to watch chickens. Zora's gonna be, uh, kind of at a loss for a while, because these are basically her chickens. Um... You can see where Zora's, Zora had a couple teeth removed a few weeks ago, so you can see where they shaved her, her leg there to get probably the, the anesthesia in. But she had a couple rear teeth removed, and she's fine now. But she had an abscess. Yeah, she's, you know, she's 12 now, so she's no spring chicken, if you'll pardon the pun. But she's in basically good health. So, uh, I'm sure you'll see her every now and again when I turn the camera on over to Audrey's, or if I've got a topic on my mind I want to discuss, so I'll take her for a walk up on the hill there. So, alright, that's about it. Uh, I appreciate all your guys' support, all you guys who always stop by and appreciate the chickens and what I've got to say. So, uh, I love you guys very much. I'm glad to have met all you guys on YouTube that I, that I talk to and that I fellowship with and exchange comments. So, and you know, this won't be my last video, but probably be my last, uh, flat earth chicken video, at least, uh, for a year or so. So, all right, I'm going to cut it off now. Take care. God bless. Keep looking up. Jesus is coming soon. See all the signs all the way around us. And, of course, soon is a relative term, but he'll be back. All right. Bye now.